Hi guys, it's Lara. Thanks for watching and welcome back to my channel. Let's do a little food haul. Even though today is only Thursday and I buy the big amount usually on either Fridays or Saturdays, I was in the store and I had my shopping bag with the wheels with me, so I felt like, you know what, I'm gonna do the big shopping today and then I can film a video because I haven't filmed a food haul in quite a long time, so if that's something you're interested in, then please keep watching. Let's start with the frozen stuff so that I can put it away first for obvious reasons. So I bought two of these lasagnas. I like having these in the freezer. They are kind of our last minute meal, emergency food, and they are just very convenient. They are pretty quickly done. Although, I mean, I wouldn't say necessarily quickly, but for a lasagna. So it takes, I think like 12 minutes in the microwave, and then you have to wait for up to eight minutes. Otherwise you're still gonna burn yourself. So that it, that's in total 20 minutes, but it's not bad because if you would make lasagna from scratch, it would take way longer. So that's the first frozen thing I brought home. Next, I bought soybeans. They are non-GMO. Jack actually specifically asked if I could buy soybeans because he felt like having them with our salads. I personally prefer beans, regular beans like... I don't know, black beans or kidney beans, um, beetle beans, butter beans, whatever. But I think it's still a good idea to have occasionally some other legumes, so I brought these. Next, I bought four boxes of frozen raspberries. They are the house brand of the store and they were on sale. Even though frozen berries are way cheaper than fresh berries, they are still quite pricey, so whenever they are on sale, I try to fit as many as I can into my shopping cart. And then I brought home a shitload of ice cream because in a few days it's gonna be my birthday, even though by the time you're watching this video I already celebrated my birthday. So let's start with the most expensive one because it's gonna be my birthday. I wanted to treat myself, so I bought myself the Ben & Jerry's chocolate fudge brownie ice cream. It's just so creamy and chocolatey and so yummy. But I personally rather buy Austrian ice creams whenever I can help it. So that was one of the reasons why I also bought the Joya ice cream, the peanut crunch. Uh, it's just so amazing. It tastes very similar to peanut butter, which is one of my favorite flavors ever. And then for right now, because I have a little bit of sweet tooth, I bought the small Vega Vita ice cream. This is probably the best they have. That's the raspberry nocio not Nocciolone, so it's basically like hazelnut cream or nougat or something like that with raspberry ice cream. It's just so freaking good. And then I bought these. These are simple lemon ice creams. I've never had these and they even added the vegan logo on the price tag that's at the you know, freezer. So I thought, hey, this is new. I want to try these. So I brought these as well. Before we continue, I have to have a little bit mm, of this raspberry hazelnut ice cream. You guys, I wish I could give you one through the camera. Mm, oh my goodness. This is just so good. Creamy and kind of chocolatey, nutty and at the same time fruity with the raspberries. Oh my gosh, I'm in heaven. So now the frozen stuff is put away. So let's have a look at what else I have here. So vegetables. So I have here a bag of red onions. I started adding red onions into our salads. If you have been following me for a while, then you have seen me putting usually just scallions in my salad, which I have here as well. But um, recently I felt like having the extra onion flavor and I just love it so much. So that's why I always have a bit more of these now as well. Plus I love cooking with red onions. I basically don't buy any other onions for cooking. Always red onions. I just like the flavor. So then, what was that? There's a little guy barking at me. What is it, hecky bear? Who peed in your cornflakes? Or actually, puppy food, right? Why are you barking at mama? Whoa, whoa, why are you so twitchy? Okay, 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 I'll let you go. Damn it. Stop! Let me film, for crap's sake. So, I have here a bag of tomatoes. I love these nets for vegetables, and I would love 
for every single store to stop wrapping every shit they sell. Stop barking at me. So, um, yeah, it's just regular tomatoes. He's not gonna stop, right? What is it with you? Usually he's so quiet and now he feels like he doesn't have enough attention or what? So anyway, where were we? Yeah, unpacked stuff. So I bought these tomatoes because they were not packed and any other tomatoes were packed and I hate that. Then I have here bell peppers. Now they do sell these, <laughs> come here. They do sell these unpacked as well, but they are way more expensive. And that's where I'm like, I have to compromise. So these are packed. And then I have here carrots. Now these are packed, but this baggie is biologically degradable. A little sippy sippy. Mm. Always stay hydrated. And then I have here two packs of brown mushrooms. That's again, I think they don't sell them loose, which kind of sucks because that would be just so easy to put them in one of the net baggies. I don't understand this couple of things that I have to put in the fridge so I'm gonna show you these first before we go through the rest so I have here two large pizza doughs I use these for my Mediterranean pizza that I like so much uh, I will link the recipe in the right corner and yeah they even have the vegan logo which makes it very convenient because then I don't have to read the goddamn ingredient list and then I have here two puff pastries again marked with vegan makes life so much easier I bought two pasta sauces. I love having at least one or two glasses at home. Again, whenever you need to cook very quickly. What is it with you, dog? Hecky bear, that's so rude. So I bought the vegetarian bolognese. Now it says vegetarian, but it is vegan. And then I bought the arrabbiata sauce. I love the arrabbiata. Jack is not so fond of it. So um, tonight I'm, I plan on cooking pasta, so I guess He's gonna have the bolognese and I'm gonna have the arrabbiata and they last for up to five days in the fridge so I will cook pasta in a few days again and then we'll finish it. Then I have here pasta. This is the house brand and I checked the ingredients. The ingredients list is very short. There's one thing. Wheat. <laughs> and I like that. Um, yeah, it's the fusilli. I like these because they absorb through the form a lot of sauce so the whole meal is just so juicy and yummy and then i have here this sandwich bread now if you have been following me for a while you know i don't eat that much bread but occasionally i like to have either peanut butter and jelly sandwich or a club sandwich uh, i can link my club sandwich recipe here in the right corner and what else then I have here this tomato paste. I use it in some of my recipes. And then I also bought peanut butter. And to my very pleasant surprise, they started selling this peanut butter that's in a glass jar instead of a plastic jar. Uh, then I have here stevia. I'm gonna use this uh, tomorrow because I'm gonna make a cake that I want to bring to the office. Uh, it's gonna be a cake with apricots and I'm gonna use the same recipe or like follow the same recipe uh, like for my apple pie so again I have the link the recipe here in the right corner and down below and uh, since I have a little bit of a sweet tooth I also bought these vegan gummy thingies they are just so good and fruity and lastly I have here two big bottles of vinegar now, I use vinegar for different things. Uh, this is not the vinegar I would put on my salad, but it's a vinegar that I use instead of fabric softener. So I always use about two tablespoons whenever I wash our laundry. I mostly wash our laundry with soap nuts. Unless it's white laundry, then I use some eco-friendly laundry detergent. And instead of fabric softener, I'll use the vinegar. And then I also use regular vinegar when I'm making my household cleaner. I think I have a recipe for, or like a recipe, a tutorial for a household cleaner on my DIY channel and not on this channel. So I will link it down below. And of course, now that I'm finished, he stopped barking, right? What is it with you today? But honestly, could you be mad? This little guy, he's so super cute. So that is it. That was my food haul. 
so this was rather a big haul and it was a little bit more expensive than what I usually pay because I bought all the ice cream including the Ben & Jerry's ice cream which is already 8 euros so normally when I go once a week or every 10 days to the store to buy a bigger amount of stuff I usually pay something between 40 and 50 euros or, or at least that's what I have been paying recently in the past like let's say a year uh, if you're interested in what I always have at home in my pantry, I have a video about that, so I will link it down below because I don't think I can still link it here in the right corner because I'm allowed to link only five videos in the cards in the right corner. Anyway, it was a lot of stuff and obviously we're not gonna eat everything over the weekend. Uh, some of the stuff will last for quite a while, like for example the tomato paste or I don't know, the vinegar. And that was it for today. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's food haul. Thank you all so much for watching. I love you guys so much and see you soon. Bye.